Smart Thinking is an online tutoring service that the college provides for students in fully online classes. Um, students in hybrid and web enhanced courses have access to the Success Center, which is an excellent um, tutoring resource available on campus. But for online students who can't get to campus for tutoring, we have Smart Thinking, which is an online tutoring service. And so the link to Smart Thinking is in every online, fully online course in Blackboard. It could be somewhere in the course itself, in the classroom section, or it could be on the left menu, it could be on the dashboard. Instructors put the link in different places, and so if you can't find it in your class, you just need to shoot your instructor an email and ask where to look. Um, in this particular class, it's over here on the left menu. And so you just click on the link. Um, this page flashes up briefly, and then it takes you right into Smart Thinking. Um, sometimes a little pop-up box will say, do you want a code to use on a mobile device? Um, so if you're using the Smart Thinking app, then you need something to prove that you're in an online class at Augusta Tech. And so you come in through your Blackboard class, you grab that code that pops up, and then you can put it into the app on your mobile device. Um, because the school pays for um, a certain number of hours per student, and we don't ever run out of hours. You can always ask for more, um, but <clears throat> you're just having a certain, certain allotment up front. They'll let you know when you're running out, and you just shoot me, Cameron Bentley, an email requesting more hours, and I'll be glad to get those added to your account. Um, so when you get into Smart Thinking, you have... Um, some different options here. Work with a tutor, submit a question, submit your writing, look at your old sessions, um, or you can go to study aids. And so I'll just quickly show you what study aids are available. Um, <clears throat> these are the different subjects. And so over here, um, you can watch videos about math topics. Um, here, there's a writer's handbook if you need to look up MLA or APA, hand, um, APA style. Those are in there. Grammar rules are in there. <clears throat> um, an accounting glossary. Um, some more math resources. And then over here, digital content. Um, and these are usually, if you're familiar with the Pearson My Labs, um, you can get some of the tut tutorials that are similar to the Pearson My Lab tutorials that are interactive um, or some podcasts. And then um, some of the topics will have some interactive readings as well. So those are the different types of materials in the study aid section. In the tutoring section, Um, if you choose to work with a tutor live, you can either drop in, see who's available right now in one of these subjects. You can schedule a future section and session, in which case you would choose a subject. All of them, you choose a subject. Um, if I want to work with a writing tutor sometime in the future, I don't have my paper finished, but I know I'm going to have a draft ready next week. And so I want to schedule a session with this tutor for next week. Um, I can go in here, choose a date range, and it will show me, um, or choose a date. And this shows me that for Saturday, there are only two slots still open. And so I might go ahead and grab one of those slots and make me, that will make me finish my paper by that time on Saturday. All right, and so then the, the tutor will send me a link, I'll come in and I'll log into that link and there'll be a whiteboard there. And so I can upload my essay onto that whiteboard and I can underline parts that I have questions about and there's a chat box and the tutor and I are chatting back and forth while we're looking at my paper. And then the tutor can also upload things on his or her end um, showing me how to correct a sentence or how to formulate a thesis um, or something. And so, so we're working together 
on a piece of writing that I upload. Um, or if I have worked with a tutor before, or maybe I've gotten a comment from my teacher and I have a question about it, I just don't understand it, um, I can do ask a question. And same thing, I can um, upload the whiteboard that the tutor and I worked on before and say, I'm not clear on this, I've forgotten what the tutor meant, can you help me with that? Um, or I can ask a brand new question. Either way, so those are my options for working with a live tutor. And the Writing Center, I can either submit an essay or a paragraph or a works cited list. Um, and so if I choose essay, that's going to take the most out of my, the most hours out of my account. Um, I think it's three quarters of an hour for an essay and um, maybe 15 minutes for a paragraph. And so if I only have a paragraph to submit, then I want to choose paragraph so I don't use up all of my time. Um, but if I have more than one paragraph, then I choose essay. And so I will submit my essay here, and within 24 hours, the tutor will respond to the email address that's associated with Blackboard. So that'll be your smart web email address. Um, and you're allowed to ask two questions um, or have two areas that you want the tutor to look at. So you can say, I want the tutor to look at the depth of my support and my citations or my grammar and my logic. And so the tutor will focus on those two particular areas, give you feedback, give you suggestions for making improvements. And then um, the best approach is to go through and make those changes and then submit it again and maybe ask two different questions. All right, this time look at this and this. Um, and so you can submit essays multiple times and continue to get feedback on those. Um, so this is the most popular um, feature of smart thinking for students at Augusta Tech, um, st students in lots of different types of classes that have writing assignments, submit them to the essay center or the paragraph center for feedback before they actually turn them in to their instructor for grading. And so um, that's not just limited to English classes, but all types of classes that ask for writing submissions. All right, and then um, the other kind of writing is um, writing practice. And this is like a auto grader. And so it gives you a topic. You write however much you want to write about that topic. And it um, grades it for you. And so it's fun to practice with and um, also prepares you well for writing tests, timed writing situations, um, that type of thing. All right, and so finally, group sessions. And um, group sessions are when you and your classmates decide that you want to get together and study. All right, so you're not all on campus. You all work at, um, in different areas of the city or state or whatever. And so it's hard for you to physically meet to um, study. And so you can sign up for a group session and you can invite a tutor to join your session. Um, you don't have to. It can just all be between students. And here you'll have access to a whiteboard. You can upload documents, and so you can share notes. Um, and you have a chat feature, and so you can chat together. And so um, just choose a subject. And I'm not actually going to schedule a session because um, I don't want to. I don't want to pay for it right now. And when you schedule a session, um, remember the school pays for your use of smart thinking. So you will never be paying anything out of your own pocket 
um, smart thinking does not have access to any of your financial information and so there's no way that you could accidentally be charged for something and so um, it just counts against the hours that you have and again you can email Cameron Bentley to get more hours um, but so you would schedule your group session your classmates could join it you could invite a tutor to join it and y'all could do some prep for um, any upcoming test or lab or event that you wanted to and the course that the child are taking so that's how you use smart thinking and it's it's really beneficial um, students always have lots of positive things to say about the tutors that they work with and the feedback that they get from the tutors so I hope you make use of it